Hey, yeah. hey, yeah. Welcome back, it's your boy Heater and the flow sick with the whole feature. It's your boy Huss, you know that we live. Now drop a like and then be sure to subscribe. We're back, reacting to One Piece. And believe it, we're truly excited to witness the legend of Luffy because he's on a mission to prove he's the king of the pirates. Uh -huh. Much love to the homie Apollo, we thank you for giving your pledge. Now enough for the track, it's time to react. We're ready for what happens next. Stop. Everybody won't smoke with a man that's chained up. Dirty bastards. Got him some penny loafers right there. Kick those out the way. Don't put those on. Right, go barefooted, bro. Rebel. What are those? <laughs> He's so out of it, he don't even care. Ooh. Oh. Can we go back to their childhood, please? Please. I need to see the exploits of Ace and Luffy. You better not have put those on. I think he did. Man, the hell with the footwear. This is sad. Hey, that back tat is scary now that I know what it represents. Nigga, this is property of white beer you trying to execute here. Do you think this gonna go smooth? One of white beer's sons. Can't possibly. Oh, there's a lot of stairs. Dang, you make me work for my execution, don't you? Right now, you're gonna have to drag me up here, cousin. <laughs> yeah, for real. I'm gonna be dead weight the whole way there. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go limp. They're gonna let you fall down all them steps. Oopsie. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Lord. Damn, he looks super sick. The track is menacing, too. In the South Blue, everybody's talking about it. Oh, trying them. They've never seen them. Y'all don't know what the hell y'all talking about. Only the best. Mm -hmm. Right. Put some respect on his name. Whoa. You hit that note, bro. Yeah, I had that attack on Titan summoning for a minute. Stop the cap. Who did it? Shiki. The nigga that broke out of uh, Impel Down. Oh, yeah? <gasps> oh, bro. Something hit my keyboard, bro, and just rewinded me all the way back to the beginning of the episode. How does something fall and hit your keyboard, man? I put the keyboard on top of Caleb's bed, and then I had some Chex Mix sitting on top of my coat, and it rolled off of my coat onto the keyboard, and it just took me somewhere all over the place. What kind of Final Destination reaction sabotage mission you got going on over there? Shiki the Golden Lion. I wonder why he invaded. Probably trying to save somebody from execution, too. Ooh. On one piece. Trust me. Uh, you know they gonna say it. It might be real death, bro. This is a major event. Out here in the north side. All the way over here. <laughs> right, it's doomsday. All right, nigga, it's cold out here. I need liquid courage. Right, I gotta be drunk for this moment. <laughs> <laughs> With a smile on their face. I guess they say it's throwing the grand line. They ain't got the nuns Oh, this about to change the world. It's a world changing event, bro. White Beard versus the world government. Ooh. Oh, Marine Ford? Marine Food. Marine Ford. They are going to be fighting for their families, period. Right. They, they got to protect their folks. Oh, okay. Get them out of here. Where are they evacuating to? Sabote? Right. Ah. Uh. Wow. Because they about to lose homes and stuff. Dang. This is major, bro. The press bro. is out. Hey, get up them stairs in three hours. I'm about to fall limp for real. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Guard. Yeah, he don't like this. This is grandson. Mm-hmm. Enough of this tea already. It's something else. Oh, I guess that they're broadcasting it. Right. Got the cameras on and everything. Yeah, that's just extra. Ooh. Ah, talking to Gart, one of the pirates involved. He might get hit in the mouth. They watching you, bruh. He wanted the parties involved. Oh, I read that yeah. wrong all the way. 
Hey, he's still connected in a way. Too close to this situation, bro. We know you're close to this situation. Look at this. What the hitters? Man, it's really about to go down. We right here. Yeah, my heart is just dying. He could show up at any moment. Oh, big boy cannons. Oh, he's a giant. Facts. They deep out there. Mm. 100,000 soldiers. Mm. Sheesh. Got 50 of them big boy things. Mm. The vice admirals. Oh. Warlords. Oh, boy, right there. Mm-hmm. So it's five of them, because they missing Blackbeard and then Jimbe. <laughs> Look at her. Looking all sassy. Mmm. Because they do this. Wow. The greatest powers. I'm your push-up man. Facts. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we know he's ice cold. Oh, that's the this other nigga one. here, though. A cool Akuna. Akuna. Mm -hmm. Barcelino. That's my guy. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> and they hype about it. Ooh, the admirals are here. Man, this is a lot for white beer, bro. Just this is white overkill. Beard. White beard got to have something in his in his pocket for all this. Like a trump card. I guess he that scary. I don't know what he about to do. I'm looking forward to it. He the world's strongest. He might just teleport and one shot one of the admirals real quick. Oh, imagine. Oh. <sighs> no regrets. What's your regret, bro? This getting captured. Yeah, it's not like this, bro. It's okay, though. Whitebeard's coming. He really put on them penny loafers. Like they're on the wrong feet. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he lived his life, too. Straight thugging. Free. We know these chains is killing them. They going ham out here. Mm -hmm. Crazy. They sound deep, don't like they? Like he was walking I mean, into a football game or something. Yeah, for real, legit. They was lit. Saw that power sit down. Nigga, this is yeah. intimidating, but I'm drunk right now. Yeah. 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 I'm going to live. I'm going to live. <laughs> <laughs> nah, a lot of them going to die. It's got to be They're real probably death. feeling hyped, though, with all them admirals and warlords behind them. Probably thinking, hey. Ooh, we here. We here. But how are we going to open the gates? We got to make a move quick. Like, will it divert us further along, like, to Annie's lobby? Yeah, just keep us along send the us current? The, yeah, it's going to keep on moving. We need these gates to open up quick, then. All right. Because the we don't want that to happen. Pushing. We got to get through. Something crazy is about to happen right here. Yeah, it's about to happen. They will give him the gold D treatment. The gold D treatment and just cut off his head in the same fashion. I thought they stabbed him in his chest. Oh, is that what they did? They stabbed him with the big old swords. Yeah. I'm so used to the visual like oh, that right there. Oh, man. Then. Yeah. Crazy. We got to pull up. White beard. What? Execution is off. <laughs> nah, I doubt that. What if Garp took his place or something? <laughs> nice words, thanks. So rude. 
Oh. You about to say white beard. He is. Does he want him to say dragon? He wants him to say dragon. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh oh. Mother's pride. Oh, wow. More than twice the normal time. Facts. Dang. Oh, man. Did Garp tell him? Nah, I think they found out. Oh, Ooh. wow. Talking to Goldie. Oh! Whoa! Goldie? Breaking news. <laughs> They're going crazy now. Mm. That's why Dragon never looked out for him. That ain't his child. Oh, they got them real shook. Mm. All it does is really like give them more credibility to the kill, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, I mean, what a development to the storyline. So, are Luffy and Ace really brothers then? I guess not. Mm -mm. They're not nope. really brothers. They just grew up together. Yeah, Garp just took them in. Goldie, son. Whoa! Wow. Garp should be locked up. <laughs> Garp really be out here thugging, talking to Goldie in jail. Like, we play spades every Thursday. Whoa! She was pregnant for 20 months. Yeah, that child would have been tortured and killed already. He would have never made it to this age. Facts. Especially looking at birth certificates and stuff. They had Cypher Poe looking into the census, looking for all the newborns, trying to kill Ace. Like a Jesus parable or something. Yeah, for real. Go kill all the newborns born over in the, what was it, the, the South Blue? The South Blue at the time, right? He was in the South Blue when he popped the buns. Then they made it public before the world. It's more than just beef with Whitebeard and stuff. This is a public execution of the legacy even more so of the king of the pirates killing off the next up uh that might be what brings out shanks in them ace ain't a part of his crew is he obligated to go save ace i was already feeling like he would on the strength of luffy you know what i'm saying that bond that they got you know what i'm saying what if shanks thought this was too overwhelming he know what would have been out there you got three admirals nigga all the warlords mihawk and his crazy you know what i'm saying stuff gonna be out there a whole bunch of vas a hundred thousand man army cannons 50 warships it's ratchet out there. This episode was lit. We learned that Shiki the Golden Lion head broke out of Impale Down first, then went to headquarters and shut down half of headquarters back then. For what reason? Must have been after a crewmate, possibly two. Just like Luffy's trying to save Ace, he probably could have done the same thing, or who knows his intentions. Who knows what caliber of people he was fighting back then. See, I don't know if everybody was just assembled and ready for Shiki the Golden Lion, who randomly broke out of Impel Down. They've been plotting on Whitebeard for a long time with this. People evacuated from Marine Ford to Sabote. Got our families out the way so we can fight without having to worry about extra people getting hurt. Man, did Whitebeard know who Ace was? Whitebeard saw Ace's power and adopted him right there. Yeah, but you think he would have adopted him still if he knew about Goldie, son? Because didn't he scrap? Wasn't he like technically the ops for Goldie? I think they kept that secret between Ace and Garp. Luffy didn't even know. Period. I mean, Luffy didn't know who his own dad was. True. That's why I said Goku was on Garp's neck. 
because Gark took Ace in. You let this little nigga flourish under your household, mm. knowing who he was. Hey, and he still got his job. Garp is that guy then. That's how you know that Garp's that guy. If that wasn't enough to get this man executed, not along with all the other stuff he's done for Luffy, having a son named Dragon, the most heinous criminal in the world. Yeah. Then you harbored the King of the Pirates' son. You know, we kill anything related to the King of the Pirates. Carpenters, craftsmen, medics, shoe shiners, clothes designers. Anybody that had a conversation with Goldie is liable to get home. <laughs> For real. You harbored his son in your house. I wonder if he's got more children than that. Maybe she was the only woman that could pull that technique off. Um, they could pull that technique off or, you know what I'm saying, hold the gold Rogers seed. Period. <laughs> what she was able to do by maintaining the baby for 20 months, that's pretty remarkable. She was special. That's why Ace had her name and everything, because she died giving birth to him. Right. But that's still Luffy's brother. Even if they're not blood brothers, Nigga, we grew up, you my brother, just stop. Real talk. That's all Ace is thinking about too, on the way to his execution. He's thinking about conversations with Luffy. Adopted family or not, we still family. He looked at Luffy as a brother knowing his father is Goldie Roger, and that they don't have the same mama, cause his mama died giving birth to him. But what is Blackbeard planning? He's still showing up late to the party. He's not coming, bro. You don't think Blackbeard's coming out here? Nope. What if he just came to recruit shit of you? and then was heading back out there. Listen, you don't bait in Whitebeard and not show up. You think he's taking off now? I think he's going to the new world, bro. He said he was about to do something that was going to shock the world. And you got the world watching. I think Blackbeard's going to pull up. He might head straight for Dragon. Dragon ain't got nothing to do with this. He can't find Dragon. How are we going to get past the gates of justice? That's another thing to consider. Jinbei said we could have got here faster. Luffy was like, appreciate it, Brad. That was quick. Mm-mm, stop, man. Don't lie to me. Nigga, if I was on my Michael Phelps, I would have been here at the gates waiting for somebody to open up. He not used to having to ride on ships anyway. He hates it. You had everybody talking about the war to come from all over the seas, all over the oceans, and everybody got their own storylines. A lot of doubters out there, but you got some old heads in the crowd that, you know, they speak it from experience and wisdom. You don't play with Whitebeard. Some people think he's too old to come out here. A lot of those people that are doubting Whitebeard, they younger. Listen to them kids over there playing. What are they singing right now? Whitebeard scarier than the devil. Whitebeard scarier than the devil. <laughs> to the double dutch. That's what your mama punish you with. Nigga, if you don't go in there and clean your room up, Whitebeard gonna come in and cut your toes right, off. <laughs> That's how they do for real. Y'all go clean your room. I'm calling Whitebeard. Oh, 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 let me go call Whitebeard. Who I got on the transponder? Go in the bathroom and say Whitebeard three times in the dark. See what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, turn off the lights looking in the mirror. Whitebeard, Whitebeard, Whitebeard. <laughs> yeah. That's the mystique that he has built. And he been doing this. <sighs> Just knowing how dangerous the admirals are. They the Navy strongest. And we see why. We've seen it up close and personal. It's scary. Kuzan don't play games. But he'll freeze this whole ocean up around us. You ain't getting away. I hope you plan on winning a fight. Kazaru, the pusher man. And we don't even know Brahman's power. Akunu. He ain't even show his face. He had his hat brim low. Meanwhile, in Saboti. Right. Got all the Marine Ford out here. Where's Ray Lee? The arch villain had a kid. Snotty nose. Wow. Actually, he's a pretty cool dude. Right, facts. Ha ha ha, he's trying to come up. <laughs> oh, for real? You think he got the One Piece? Hmm. That was spiritual just now. I got chill bumps, bro. For real. Ooh. Marine Ford. He's still coming, though. And he kept that on hush hush. I ain't tell nobody. They about to start cheering. <laughs> Doesn't mean nothing. Hmm. Who is that watching guard? Hmm. <laughs> 
前にゆかりのある女など極刑に決まってるだからお前に言ったんだ<笑> She'll be dead anyway 僕は必ずこの1年の俺の職責を洗い出しガーブとお前は何十回と殺し合いをした中だろう How we got a history それはお前なら仲間ほどに信用できる That's some crazy logic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Right. Charge them. And put his candlelight out. He's one to talk. Ugh, it's in your nature, nigga. Right, you're a nice guy. You love me. And mm -hmm. I love you. And he did that. Crazy. Mom Dukes. And she a baddie too. You picked a nice mm -hmm. one. She had good jeans. Dang. I know she was sad looking at the news. Yeah, about the execution. Uh-huh. They out there being nosy. Out here in the south. Uh-huh. Oh, being a normal person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's tough. Ooh. Kill all the mothers. Dang. Just for a suspicion. Right. You pregnant. You could be pregnant with Goldie Rogers. Kill, Kill her. her. And her. That's dark. And her. And her. That's the government. Oh, look at the freckles. Right. She had to concentrate on her breathing, all of that. That chair sounds horrible. Mm-hmm. The ones due next month. All that. She had to really concentrate. Ooh, fake husbands. <clears throat> Oh, good. They're not killing them all. She ain't come back. What if she was suspicious? <sighs> Man, that sucks. Oh, that's crazy. That fire representing Nace. He like, but I want to grow in yeah, here. Mama, it's cramped in here. I can't <laughs> lie to you now. <laughs> ah, <hungies. laughs> she probably ain't even eating or nothing. How long were they on this island for? Should have took but a day or two to do this, man. Oh wow! For ten months. Sat around for ten months, waiting on somebody yeah. to develop a seed or anything. Right? Are you Looking sure? Late you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. And guard pulled up. What you said, that nigga? Stop <laughs> what? Oh, it's a secret. She about to freak out. She was technically on her deathbed. It was over right here. Yeah, for real. Okay. Ace. Hmm. Dang. Absolutely not. She had a good moment, though. She got to hug him and right. stuff for a little while. Got to embrace him. That's even sadder. That boy came out about 34 pounds, though. That's a big mm -hmm. baby. The worst hands. He probably threw them in the jungle the next week. <laughs> Fact. <laughs> <laughs> Dot on. Here he is. The Ooh, governor? Nah. That's what the governor was talking about. Oh, yeah. About. Where's the Don? That is right. Yeah. Out here on the East Blue. Let's meet Dot on. Turn up. I guess he yeah. raised both Luffy and Ace. Right. Not on. Wow. So he really resented Goldie and not Dragon here. Crazy. He was talking about Goldie the whole time. Yes, he was. 
Your real name is Goldie Ace. Wow. The Spade Pirates? Who is the Spade Pirates? Uh, and recruited them. Swooped in. Ooh. Oh. Uh, that was his goal? Right, you got it wrong. Mm. Um. Ooh. He's trying to keep you safe so you can be the next king. Nah, that's a fabricated story right there. Oh, you think that's just their spin on it? Yeah. That's not why he joined. He really joined to make Whitebeard the king of the pirates. I mean, I know that what, what Ace wanted, but... Is that what Whitebeard was thinking the whole time? Hmm? Hmm? Maybe he was trying to nurture and mm. cultivate. Let's go. It's opening up. What happened? They've already infiltrated. They're opening up the, the gates. The control room? And they can't From talk to the control room? Ford. Yeah. Who's in the control room messing stuff up? Whitebeard. His people. <laughs> he winding it up, ain't he? He gonna take right. a shot at it. <laughs> he was about to fail miserably. His arm's still spinning. <laughs> this wow. is what we needed right here. You better hurry up and get in there. That guy dead. Somebody in there. Oh my goodness. Wow. It's faded. We don't have time for this moment right now, Buggy. Are the dancing Lombardo. <laughs> <laughs> he always hit those notes, don't he? Yeah, he do. It's faded for Buggy. I did it. He's taking the credit. Messenger of God. <laughs> Part in the gate. Like Moses. Even Luffy believe it. Yeah, for <laughs> this real. Dummy. He was really opening it. All right. Thank you, Lord. Let's get it. I want to see the real culprit. Oh, they looking intently. They ready. Oh, the calm before the storm. That nigga's ready. Oh. They in the submarine? I don't know who or what they was doing. A whole bunch of ships. What flag is that? Mm. Oh. Now that's scary though. Oh! It's a whole bunch of bunch of ships. Oh, it's a whole bunch of different flags, bro. Who all is pulling up? Still don't even see white beard. Oh. Horse. Horse. Thunderlord. McCalvin Brothers. Oh, this is a whole bunch of pirates. Ooh, oh, all in the new deep. world. 43 ships. Captains of the new world. Ooh. Hey. Here for you, Ace. Put that lights on the ships. line. For Ace and Whitebeard. Oh, that's <sighs> trash. Let them get good in range. We're just gonna let him pull in, huh? He's ready for the main event already. Oh, Down the submarine. submarine, bro. I ain't know his ship can go underneath. He hears it. He gonna pull up in the middle here. Mm. Ooh. Don't say that. I think we got the wrong lineup for what? <laughs> These hands? Ooh, Who's up front? Ooh, he is making an entrance. Boa ain't concerned. She out there smiling. Never. Yep. Got coded first. Bow. Uh, big boy ship. Airborne. Got that Sabote coding. Right. The Moby Dick. I'm about to say land on them. Drop the sails, man. Let's see it. Ugh. Oh, that's him. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. Ooh, wow. 
43 different ships out there. Known from the New World. New World captains. Just from hearing that, they can survive the New World, thrive in the New World, and be allies with Whitebeard. Right. The Bohemian King, Trapper McFly. There was a whole bunch of names out there. They were goofy looking, but I mean, I assume they must have some hands. Looks are deceiving in this show. You can't judge a book by its cover in this show. A lot of niggas can have goofy designs. Blackbeard even looks goofy at times. He ain't muscular, he ain't brawly. Oh yeah, he do be looking goofy. But he one of the most dangerous in the show, hands down. Right. At times, Luffy looked goofy. True. <laughs> These gotta be hitters, bro. But to rival what? Like, I think they just here for the fodder. That 100,000 troops and Captain Smoker and them. That's what these guys coming to handle. You can't call Smoker fodder. He fodder compared to the Warlords and the Admirals. These boys ain't trying to see the Admirals, but they here. Smoker was going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Ace, and he didn't get spanked or nothing. So, I don't know what you're saying. That's true. They went to the heavens with they scrapped, though, at one point. Smoker nice, bro. He certainly spanked us. <laughs> we never beat Smoker. They might be comparable to somebody like Smoker or something, but I ain't gonna call him fodder, though. I'm not gonna call him fodder. My bad. Forgive me. What I'm saying is, these 43 ships are here to neutralize 100,000 captains and below. They might be able to throw hands with some VAs out here. Maybe some VAs, too. Yeah, VAs, we throw them in there, too. I mean, but we've never beat a VA. Who beat a VA out here? Nobody. Not from the Straw Hats. Not yet. We can't call nobody fodder. Just because they're not a warlord or an admiral, VAs are still really dangerous. Captain Smoker was dangerous as a captain. Yeah, Smoker's next level anyway, as far as captains anyway. If these captains then from the New World can stop a VA, that's good in itself. They'll do some significant damage out here to somebody. You're going to have to feel some VAs out here. That was the whole mystique behind a buster call. Five VAs and ten warships. I'm just saying, 43 ships ain't enough yet. Not from what I'm seeing. 43 ships ain't enough. It's New World captains. All the rookies that met up in Sabote are trying to become New World captains. There might really be some hitters out here. I ain't going to say all 43 ships is filled with ballers and bangers. I'm saying that for the amount of smoke that we have here, I'm glad Whitebeard didn't pull up here solo dolo with just his crew. Yeah, for sure. It's gonna be a lot of cannon fire real soon, bro. Devil fruits being used. Mama was like, we might've pulled up with the wrong lineup up front. He pulled up like that. We can't even dump on him first. Yeah, he done got too close already. We might cause friendly fire trying to shoot at him. Literally though, as soon as Whitebeard looks over the deck and looks down to see what's up, he gonna find the five warlords right there. Oh man, bruh. Oh, it's about to get real. We're about to have a lot of questions answered concerning the power scaling. Seriously, and Luffy's coming in behind them. Right, so who opened up the gates? Ooh, who opened no, up the no. gates for us? We had a, a spy in there. Whitebeard got an inside man. It wasn't Garp either. I'm glad it wasn't Garp because he can't take no more bad cred right now. Right, he's got a bad enough of a rep. But you know what? Even if he opened these gates, he'd be forgiven. It's Garp. <laughs> I wonder why they so indebted to Garp. I know he's the Navy hero. He went toe to toe with Roger multiple times. I bet he probably felt like, you know what? Out of all the Marine niggas, I respect you the most, bro. Hey, he looked cracked in his eyes. Like, he knew Garp was going to answer to his spiritual cry. He ran up on the dang on cage. <laughs> My baby mama's awesome. She ain't having no kid for another 20 months, bro. Trust. It's crazy how the, the flame was trying to come into the world, and she was like, not yet. And it would just go out again. Right. Did he have devil fruit for that fire, or is that just natural? It's just symbolism. Yeah. Ace had his own group, the Spade Pirates. Whitebeard got wind of it, too, and he went to recruit Ace. So Sengoku's making it seem like Whitebeard recruited Ace because he found out that he was kin to Goldie and that he was wanting to put him on the throne to breed the next king of the pirates. But Ace is making it seem like, nah, I'm here to fulfill his ambition. Right. That's my dad. He's amazing. It wouldn't shock me, though, if that was Whitebeard's ambition the whole time. Like, yeah, eventually I'm going to die anyway. I'm getting old. I don't know what Whitebeard would get out of that other than it just being the ultimate respect for his rival. Yeah. He just respected Goldie that much that he wanted the King of the Pirates to stay in his bloodline. Or since he's saying that he the father, that's my son that became King of the Pirates. Goldie ain't your father. Take his credit. <laughs> <laughs> my son found it. Have we ever heard confirmation of Ace? taking in a fruit though. He said that he had a fruit when he was about to square off with Smoker when he saved Luffy from getting captured. It's just crazy how that fire was symbolic of him trying to be born into the world. And then the lamp whenever Goldie and Garp was talking kept going in and out. Boy, there was some spiritual stuff going on with that. He was always going to be a flame Hashira. That's why when Blackbeard captured Ace, it was even that much more significant. He really hit the jackpot with capturing Ace. For real. You got him from under Whitebeard's grasp? 
And you capture the ace of all people? This nigga is crafty. I'm ready to see these potential matchups. Admirals, Whitebeard, Marco. I want to see how strong these hands are. I want to see what they got, man. I wonder if Sengoku's going to fight. Is Garp throwing any fist? Right. Old lady next to Garp right now. She seemed like a hitter too. I bet Suru throws hands. Momo. I'm gonna call her Momo. It was gangster watching Luffy walk up to Dadon's house. That's where all the bad kids go. Dadon gotta have them strong hands though. I think he does, bruh. Ooh, I bet you he was part of Goldie squad. Who knows? What if Dadon raised Dragon too? <laughs> Ooh, what? Yeah. That might be Uncle Dadon. What if uh, that's Garp's brother or something? Or Dragon's brother. Dadon seemed like an old head. He looked kind of goofy from the shot we saw. Like he was hanging off the clothesline. He about tripped and fell when he heard Garp's voice. You know Dadon's gotta be that guy for him to entrust the king of the pirates son to him i wonder if dada knew that ace was the son of the king of the pirates how he took that information he probably didn't even care he just wanted you know take care of the little boys helping out our friend he probably didn't even know because it's garp asking you know what i'm saying yeah for garp yeah sure take care of kids i know you're a busy military man i'm gonna say he's garp's brother uh i guess Either that or just a good friend. He wouldn't want to put his brother in harm's way just in case he was making a bad play and something did come out, you know? This Garp, he makes terrible decisions. <laughs> Look who his son is. <laughs> Ace was already looking like a thug, watching Luffy come in from the treetops, <laughs> mad. Who the hell this little baby kid pulling up? Nigga, I'll run this. <laughs> he had a bandaid on his forehead like he had already been lumped once. Because Luffy had his devil fruit. He was already wearing Shanks' hat. Yeah, he did, didn't he? Yeah. I could have sworn they said that Ace put the hands on Luffy back in the day before he even got his devil fruit when they were kids. So I think whenever he became the captain of the Spades Pirates, that's what put him on the radar. He's making a name for himself with these hands and maybe got the flame devil fruit with white beard and amped up even more mm, okay i can't wait to see more of that backstory like i want to see their childhood i want to see it all facts i don't need my some flashbacks right now of how this all developed you know anything involving luffy the family dot on yes. ace i'm with it mm, she second that guessing. had me that's saying something all right what kind of lineup did she want the admirals up front <laughs> right <laughs> it doesn't get much better. <laughs> right. Sheesh. What much more can you ask for? Moby Dick took flight. They mentioned Moby Dick sight. earlier, too. Yeah, that's the name of his ship. Uh huh. La Moby. Mmm. That's how you pull up right there. Yeah, man. Uh, Big boy fashion. <laughs> Stop playing. Are we going to talk it or are we going to start shooting? Or throwing hands. Ooh. Oh. They on the bay. Let's get it. Four of them things. Oh, they on them for real, too. Fourteen. They all look like hitters. They throw hands. For real. Damn, he got a squad. Fourteen commanders. Uh-oh, the battle cool. drums. Ooh. Ooh, he gonna talk to him. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. It's okay. It's doing good. Ooh. Saying Goku, his beloved son. <laughs> oh, his laugh is cold. <laughs> It's a little creepy. This what you wanted, oh, man. Yeah. Oh yeah. Don't act hoish now. Right. All this firepower you got. Right. And he is not. He knew. He knew oh, the whole he time. Sure did. Crazy. Right, what a guy. Oh. <laughs> Let's go, Luffy. We really brothers. We're brother brothers. Uh, you had me come out here on a hunch. This nigga knew the whole time. I ain't even your blood brother, nigga. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, oh, just give me a, a second. second. Ah, that nigga's nice. 
Oh! Oh! Flex on him! He's doing things! Oh my god! What, what is, is that? that? The whole atmosphere is bugging out, bro. He's bending the world, bro. <laughs> okay. The other side straight too. to the action. Oh, that looks so cold. Yeah, some straight up Inception type stuff. They're just gonna watch and let it happen. Yeah, give us a flashback. I forgot to breathe for about three minutes there. <laughs> All right, Tanjiro, be careful. All right, I needed this flashback to live. <laughs> <laughs> Spade. Hey. Had a gang of hooligans. Ha! Ah, he couldn't stand the news. Mm hmm. Oh, he was already lit. Mm. Definitely had his devil fruit there. Yeah. Uh oh. That's the first thing he noticed. D. Yep. <laughs> Boss. Mm. Young Ricky with a Logia. <laughs> a dashing young man. <laughs> he refused to become a warlord. Crazy. Mm. Went to meet him. Yeah, going to see his dog. Maybe he knows him. Ooh. That didn't seem too acquainted. Oh, okay. Oh, he never met him. All right, that's crazy. Hey. Ooh. Instantly besties. Running. We have a break 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 break. <laughs> it's Luffy's brother. <laughs> Yeah, he's still cray cray. <laughs> His favorite phrase, facts. Mm -hmm. Between that and where's the meat? <laughs> Big goals. <laughs> ah, he's intrigued. <laughs> I'm gonna try white beard. Good you just let him go ahead out there. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, dude. Yeah, Give it a try, humble. young man. <laughs> Ran to the gym, baby. Uh. He spanked gym, baby? He on land right now. But if that's what you want. Ooh, uh oh, I'm one. Ooh. Ooh. He earned respect that day from gym, baby. Oh, we were scrapping. Five, five days. days. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, show it at least. <laughs> you can't hear it, couldn't you? Yeah, that hands, was throwing hands, hands, hands. Heavy hands. <laughs> oh, oh, he got tired. Oh, he fell. He got, the, he got the best. They both oh. fell. Jimbe fell first, though. Besties since then. Right. <laughs> this is how you make the best wow. friendships. This is when Whitebeard pulled up. Which one of y'all oh. was talking about me getting spanked by Jambe like this? Oh. <laughs> As you are. <laughs> Run it, young man. Round two. Fight. All of you. He had to get humbled by Jambe. Uh, what's the name of his weapon? Like a, a hall bread or something? Uh, what the heck? What? Well, he got I back up to fight again. Okay. And my gang. Oh, he let his gang get away. He's scared. Yeah. Run! Instant. Go to sleep. Oh, 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 oh. Mm, I ain't even show it. Everywhere. <laughs> The result is that he was leaking. A bodied young man. He just got finished fighting Jimbe. He just for, for five though. days. <laughs> <laughs> A five day scrap. 
Yeah, you're dead. Oh. It makes sense. Mm. Oh. <laughs> so then he got slapped for refusing to. That's how you feel? Yeah, he didn't accept it. He got up and tried to swing again, probably. <laughs> Screw you! <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> Crazy. They were scrapping for five days. He woke up on the ship. <laughs> Yep. He woke up <laughs> he on sure the ship. Did. Kidnapped from his crew. Right. <laughs> You're already part of the family. <laughs> he lost his homeboys for real, didn't he? He did. He did it was bro. a complete collapse for the Spades Pirates. <laughs> 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 That's what happened. Thatch. <sighs> Todd, that hair is hitting. Mm -hmm. Oh, came oh, back from okay. Oh, oh, wow. They the only ship too. too. Nice. Okay. They're all adopted. Why? <laughs> You're no threat. Son of the You're ball. You're no threat. You and your crew. <laughs> He's sleeping peacefully. He thinking I could kill this nigga right now. <laughs> yeah, he is. He might try it. He did. <laughs> what is you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> Dang, he had the Ascalade approach. He did. Kill him while they're sleeping. <laughs> I went back to sleep. Off reflexes alone. <laughs> Stop playing these games. <laughs> How the ass? <laughs> now somebody Yo. gotta save you. <laughs> this is Billy Saga for real. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's Thorfinn. He's getting the Thorfinn. <laughs> <laughs> he's getting Thorfinn for real. A <laughs> hundred times. His Dang. crew's like, come on, man, chill out. Those are his guys. Yeah. A <laughs> hundred times. Right, now, it's man? sad to see. You <sighs> can't deal face. with him. Eat up, get your strength. We okay with this. Attack the captain all day, all night. <laughs> you still gotta eat. You see it, we all get sunned. Uh, <laughs> not used to seeing Marco like that. <laughs> Facts. Hey, Marco's shoes are tragic, bro. He had on the Nami's. Yeah, he did. Even got like a two-inch heel on it. Yeah. <laughs> Swagging. Ooh. Try to make his way up. Uh. Thought I recognized Doma. Blackbeard. <laughs> Originals. Dang. That let a real snake was on, on there before him. Yeah. And was okay with, you know, Ace being called his commander. Right. Facts. He was just waiting for the fruit. Right. I ain't got no ambition, nigga. <laughs> it's cool. Mm -hmm. You rock out, little man. Little did we know. Uh, yeah, I'm going to leave one day anyway. Oh, he called him Pops. About his father? Ooh. <clears throat> now, is he just saying that? I don't care if you go, right. me, son. Ah, uh, facts. <laughs> wow. Let's toast to that. Huh? Hey, yo. Wow, oh, calm down, brother. <laughs> Sheesh. 
<laughs> hey, no pause needed. Killing food. <laughs> I gotta get this protein. We eat in the east. <laughs> Ooh, everybody He's dog. choking. Yeah. <laughs> He thought it was over. Dang, a banquet just got the itis already. <laughs> 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 That's that itis. Right, he don't stop again. He's shining out there with it. He knew from Jump Street though. That was Roger's son. I think Whitebeard knew too. That's it. Oh, that's who we recruited. They with us now. The the Calvin brothers or whatever. Right. All them dudes are with us out there. Those are New World captains that he's boxing in these flashbacks. Yeah. That Docky dude or Docker or whatever. Doma. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. he sees it. That's his fruit. That darkness, that's everybody. <laughs> mm. Oh, it's bloody. He killed Thatch. Damn, oh, I didn't even associate oh. it. That makes it even worse. Ooh, yeah. He tried to warn him. Mm. Mm. Ooh, oh, he tried right. to tell him. Right, you know the rules. Yo, ship. Ooh. Ooh. Mm, unforgivable. <laughs> oh, man. Whitebeard didn't want him to go for real, though. Nope. He was mm. a man on the mission. Mm-hmm. Been gone ever since. Now he's regretting it. Right, then got his dad into some mess. <laughs> right. Of course we're here. Wow. Oh. Why even ask that? Look at them scars. What happened to the sea quake? I thought he was making a sea quake at first. He holding it in position. Oh, so now it done receded and then it done calmed down now because they went into a flashback as the peak of the action was happening. Yeah, I think he just holding it with his arms crossed. Right, so I guess we got to keep that in mind. Whatever's going on with that sea quake, we didn't see the end result. No, it's still out there. You can already tell he's going to be a problem because you got a raged out fire fist ace trying to kill him in his sleep. And he calms all that down with the backhand. <laughs> See, I was talking about he tried to pull the Ascalad and kill his father in his sleep. Yeah, right. So he tried to pull an Ascalad, but instead got Thorfinn. Finally, he gave in and became one of the sons. Before he gave in and became a son, Thatch was really in his spirit already. Welcome aboard. Your homeboys are good. I mean, we beat the hell out of them, but they on the ship. Beat the brakes off them niggas. Listen, they was trash. <laughs> Y'all can get adopted whenever or keep it pushing. Start over. You're going to have to start over because we're going to tell everybody. That nigga got spanked. <laughs> it's going on pay-per-view. We had Marco recording. Bro, you... You got beat up. <laughs> it's going straight to World Star. Or you could eat that chunky noodle beside you and become one of the sons. I think that was Marco that brought him the chunky noodle soup. Marco has some elegant feet <laughs> for such a thug. Uh, <laughs> yeah, his foot gear is tragic. Luffy's fighting in flip flops, but he had the stripper lacing going up the calf muscle, though. He had them Nami Schwans from season one. Legit, bro. Put on Nami shoes. He had the male version of Nami's. When you said it, I was like, dang. Even the two-inch heel and the stuff like that. <laughs> killed it for me. I don't know. Them Payless stripper shoes. <laughs> there was so much in this episode already. That's how you know this arc's about to be crazy. Yeah, man. Whitebeard pulls up, flexes on him, bends the dimension, creates a sea quake on both sides of Marine 4. We're going to the flashback. You got Ace going out on his own. He was moving dumb quick, though. It caught the eye of Sengoku, Whitebeard, and even though Whitebeard got the information from Ace now, a part of me thinks that maybe he knew this was Roger's son too. Acted like he was surprised, but really he already knew. Part of me thinks that Whitebeard did know. That's why they were racing to get to him. Even though he wasn't really racing, he was really coming through to spank Ace because Ace wanted to fight him. And he heard Ace was talking big. 
Ace done already told Shanks. Somehow Shanks done told somebody to tell somebody and it got back to Whitebeard and Whitebeard was pulling up to say, okay, what's up? I heard somebody right here want to scrap. Pirate news travels fast. Niggas instigate. And Shanks was instigating. Shanks was listening to him. Oh yeah? How you gonna do that? Oh, you wanna put hands on Whitebeard? Go do it then. Do your thing, man. Okay. I see you, bro. <laughs> you know he knows by experience. Yeah, right. Yeah. You about to get straight whooped. Yeah, I would trash you right now, but I'm going to let you learn your lesson, young man. We got questions answered. We always associated that just because Luffy was cool with Shanks, that Ace was cool with him, too. No. Right, no. They just met as he was captain of the Spades Pirates. I'm guessing Ace was in the New World already. So come in contact with Jinbei and Whitebeard pulls up. Because I doubt Whitebeard goes to the other side of the Grand Line like that. Even though I guess he travels outside the Grand Line when he wants to. Because somebody said that he was just on the West Side a couple of episodes ago. Talking about Whitebeard was just here the other day. I thought we was about to die. Ace had to fight Jinbei first. And he thought it was going to be sweet. That he was just going to mow through Jinbei on the way to Whitebeard. Nah, he got entangled in a five-day yeah. scuffle with both of them dropping face first. You know what I'm saying? He was trying to take a nap until Whitebeard pulled up. Now his crew life on the line. He got to get up. And pull a Luffy moment, you know what I'm saying? He gotta fight and keep fighting through. He gotta protect his peoples. This is the equivalent of him punching a Celestial. So way worse. And at that moment, the Spades Pirates were disbanded. <laughs> <laughs> that was their Sabote moment. Every good rookie captain's do for one. We really come out here and fail sometimes. At least at Dadon's house. That's how it goes. I don't know if all rookie pirates is undergoing this. Crocodile was once a rookie too. He might have a story just as depressing. Yvonne. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yvonne. Yeah, man, it's a tough world out here. <laughs> <laughs> I like the theme of his pirate name, you know what I'm saying? He's Ace of Spades, and then, you know what I'm saying? I bet his crew name was like King of Spades, Jack of Spades. Unfortunately, he was too big for his britches. Hey, yo, that's what he said. Whitebeard said these rookies nine days just moving too fast. Instead, he had to trade hands with Jim Bay for five days. Dang, so that's saying something, though. If they was on the shore more, it was over for Ace then. Exactly. I saw that instantly. He just had to deal with Fishman Karate. Right, basic hands. I'm guessing Jim Bay knows hockey. Hell no, cousin. You're going to have to throw hands with me. What's up? Ace beat Jim Bay. You said it, bro. He fell first. He fell first. But he was in no condition to fight Whitebeard after that. Yeah, just like Kuma coming in after Warrior. It's so way worse. Did they show Ace's bounty? They just showed the wanted poster. They didn't even show his bounty, but they offered him to be a warlord. I wonder if they offered Ace a warlord position to ensnare him, to execute him. Because if they found out that he was the son of Goldie already, we saw you moving up in the world. That's when you got our attention. But Whitebeard got to you first and recruited you. So he was already on their radar before Whitebeard got to him. He got some big wins probably when he was with the Spades Pirates. Yeah. He was able to find Shanks, so that's pretty good in itself. Oh, Shanks was ready for smoke. Hold on, nigga. Who pulls up to the cave at 3 in the morning asking to see me? What the hell you want, young man? You want to get spanked? You who? You Luffy's brother. Oh, why <laughs> did you say something? Dang, super rookie. Yeah. Luffy told me that you saved his life. I just wanted to thank you in person, bro. That's my name. Yeah. I love Luffy. Hey, as soon as he started talking about ambition, Shanks was like, yeah. That's how Shanks do, though. Shanks let you rock. He <laughs> let you rock. He ain't going to crush your dreams. He ain't going to say you can't do it. He just finds it extremely amusing. I like the way All you right. talking, young man. Yo, Shakes is a talker for real. He'll hear your dreams and then repeat it to the world. You know what I'm saying? Oh, for real? You want to be the king of the pirates? Hey, my nigga Luffy want to be king of the pirates. Let me go holler at Ray Lee and Sabote. Hey, man, I got this little nigga off the east. He all right. I'm going to tell you, man. Something about that Willie D, bro. The spirit. The spirit's there in him. So I don't think Shanks knew that that was Goldie's son because he definitely wouldn't be trying to throw hands with Ace like that. Nah, Goldie's son was a secret to the world, bro. To the point where his baby mama even had to hold the baby in for an extra year or something. It was a secret to the world, but not to Luffy. Luffy knew who it was. Crazy. Luffy knew the whole time. That's how you know that's family. We know how spirit brothers work. Come on, man. But I didn't know that he knew, though. Since he idolizes Goldie so much and wanted to go to Logetown, and Yvonne was like, nigga. Mm -hmm. You got me out here in this sauce. You got me going hard. <laughs> I had a good thing going. I had a good thing going, sweetheart. This is... I was going to help you get out the jail. That's it. I told you we should have just got you out the jail. 
Yep, yeah, she just let you out and went back and got locked up. White Beard comes in and just hits the stunt session. I really think nigga seeing Goku was nervous, bro. Yeah, because he's right here in the bay. I guess they thought they could just dump on him on the way up here. Right. Was White Beard using hockey right there? What if that was a hockey technique? Oh, wow. Whitebeard knew that Ace wasn't ready for Blackbeard. There was something off about Brumman. I think Whitebeard was probably scoping out game on Blackbeard. Oh, he probably knew Blackbeard had hands. That's one of their originals. He been with him the longest. And if Blackbeard can tell how much hockey somebody has, something's telling me Whitebeard can too. Got the scouting report, yep. I think deep down he knew Blackbeard was a savage. And he let him rock on his ship because at the end of the day, he can't see me. Nobody can. <laughs> I'll beat the hell out of Blackbeard. I think he knew that Blackbeard was crafty and was trying to warn Ace, son, don't do it, son. It ain't worth it. This is an exception. Something off about Teach. And Ace couldn't stand for it. Hell no, not under my watch. Because he killed Thatch. Disrespected my daddy too, nigga. Dang, Whitebeard didn't want it to happen. But he's trying to make sure that Ace doesn't feel bad about it and taking the blame on for himself. Yeah, for real. I'll let you go, young man. Because one day you're going to have to deal with a monster like that one day anyway. Might as well let you try now. Great episode. Looking forward to the next. I'll let your boys roll. Peace. Right is the source of my name and the difference between us is scale is so vividly obvious while in the studio I become Uber and then I start treating the beat like the mafia You think the nearest just holler Jakarta's cause fire's proceeding from haters and esophagus Me and my partners are represent Charlotte the city that's North Carolina's metropolis And we've been patiently waiting to display our greatness showcasing our lyrical dominance and it be